There's a guide that someone did on here. A lot of Spanish and Russian guides on here. A lot of them. <laughs> okay, here's the here's the uh, another level. Okay, so it can be entered by doing a sequence of, of events in the prologue level. Enter the scene prologue. Okay, so we've already messed it up. <laughs> we've already messed it up. We have to enter the scene. It might it might not let us go from the get go, unless I just did that. And I, for some other reason, didn't think about it. Okay. Flashlight, turn the radio on in the first floor bathroom. Okay. And this is this is going to be a little bit repetitive. So, um, just, just as a heads up, guys. I'll try to go through it as soon as possible. It shouldn't be too bad. Because there's really nothing crazy that happens. You just have to get the flashlight... Turn on the radio in the first floor bathroom and then run out to the, uh, the Matheson poster at the end. So it's not going to be too bad, I don't think. Which means I think that we're going to need to... Let me double check here. Go outside, collect the Charlie Matheson poster, quit to main menu. Okay. And then you have to do it two or three times. It says three or four. I don't know if the first time you count it is it counted. So it may just be it may just be like a, a percentage of a chance to sit there and get it to go. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll be all right. We'll be all right. Sorry, this is going to be repetitive, though. <laughs> Just as a heads up. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. But I think it'll be good. I don't know. I don't know what all it entails. All I know is that it's called a secret level. And I think he says in the thing in there, it's called he gives it a name. So I kind of have an idea of some of the weirdness that might happen. I don't I don't know yet. So we just gotta We just gotta do it one one game at a time. Okay, so we're looking for a flashlight. Okay. And then in the first floor bathroom, there's a radio. Which I think is this way, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I forget how to how to activate all this stuff. Cuz I think we have to we have to hear her scream first. Get off my property. <laughs> oh, this right needs a key. It needs a key. There it is. Ah, uh, that's crazy. Anyways. <laughs> It might be, it, surprisingly enough, it might actually be opened, but we might just be able to turn it on and then go, you can go out through the garage too, yeah. yeah. I don't think it really matters which way we go out. And then there should be a poster up near the end, before we go into the next level, as long as we follow the lights. I do believe. We'll find it on the main trail, I'm almost positive.
Wasn't he like up on a hill somewhere last time? Posted up like a gargoyle. <laughs> I want to say it was the it was somewhere in the second like after the second generator. By the way, uh, there is a permadeath difficulty on this. By the way, <laughs> we are uh, we're not gonna do it, but in case you're curious, we can. <laughs> Like, we actually could have just cut way across on this. Yeah, we'll just do this next time. Because I think... It should be up here. Oh, I thought there was a man standing up there. I was like, there he is. Living in the moment up on the hill. But he's that's not him. There it is. Okay. And then we go to main menu. And then we basically do this again. Okay, yeah. So we we should know when it when it starts based on the main menu. So until then, we just have to do this a couple of times. And I don't know if that gate is gonna be open, so we'll check it as soon as we start the radio up, because we might not even need to get to the, to the, like, the scream for it to open. We just need the, uh, the radio and the flashlight. And then we'll be fine. <laughs> I should like uh, speed hack the game. <laughs> Pull up cheat engine. And have it run at like times five speed. <laughs> Just tear through this place at like times five speed. Could you imagine? Maybe we'd be booking it. So, uh, how's your guys' day been today, huh? Have been having a good day? Been having a stellar time? I know I have. <sighs> Nothing like taking a nice, fun jaunt through the woods. I think I can also be in the kitchen. I've seen it in the kitchen before. Oh, yo, the door is actually left open this time? What? I don't think I was... Huh. I didn't expect the door to be fully open. Is it open? No. Okay, so we do have to we do have to get the key and listen to the scream. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. How are you? What's going on, Brian? Not too bad. Another day, another day. We're doing the uh, the secret level now. We're unlocking it first because it's a uh, it, it's got a couple of a couple of uh, things that you got to do for it. So. You're busy melting. Yeah, it's uh, it's probably still a little toasty there, huh? When is the... Uh, do you know when, like, the temp is supposed to drop? Or is it just kind of going to be hot for a while?
Okay. Did you ever do the uh, secret level, Brian? By chance? She hear a scream pretty soon. There it is. <laughs> Next two days are supposed to rain, but I don't know. Gotcha. Gotcha. The, uh... The, the worst part about where I live is when it rains, it's not a good sign. Uh, because it the temperature doesn't really drop that much. It just gets even more humid. You've been here. You know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Uh, you're just like, if it's hot, you're just like, oh, it's awful. And then it rains, and then you're like, oh, that not only did that not make it a little bit cooler, but now it's really hot and even more humid than it already was. Amazing. I love it here. That thunder lightning is nuts. So I started the stream today, and there was a, there was a chance. I wasn't sure if it was going to happen, but there was a chance that I was kind of expecting the power to go out. Because it was just pouring and just, you know, lightning and thunder going off. But luckily it just passed us and, and ended. So. Okay. So. It's said to do it three or four times. So I'm guessing that... I'm hoping that we get it in this third time and we don't have to do it a fourth time. Because it is just very, very repetitive to unlock it. Oh, that's the tower. I'm like, the heck is that? It looks like some dude with his arms up in the air. Yeah, the storms here are ridiculous, though. We get some really, really cool storms. See, I love storms, so I'm not... I'm not against them at all. Oh, it does take a minute, though. <laughs> it's the one thing that... Uh, that sucks about getting this unlock how would okay how would people know that this is how you unlocked it unless they just looked it up which is what i that they might have done it like they may have like gone into the game files and found like a whole secret level and in a sense like data mined what they needed to do in order to unlock it slender lore maybe no, I don't think so, because the uh, the lore in this in Slender prior to this was literally just the eight pages game, which is kind of pretty much the first level of this, except it was like way, way, way long ago. Um, and so you kind of just you kind of just had it to deal with. Okay, no thing there. Okay. Look for the key, look for the key, look for the key. Nada. Play that. Is the key pretty much always upstairs? It might always be upstairs. in the bathroom. Man, they're really, uh, they're really making me work for this one, huh? Wait, where's the key? <laughs> there it is. I skipped right over this. Okay, and now we go back down. 
go back around. So this time, I think it should proc off. I think this is our third time doing it. If not, then, like I said, we can do we can do one more. And if we do one more, then, and it still doesn't proc off, I'll look up possibly a different guide for it, and they may be more direct about how to unlock it. I really hope it's not just like... Uh, just like a chance to unlock it every single time and after a certain amount of times it does like maybe maybe as you do it more and more it like ups the chance to, for it to happen maybe that would make sense I don't know okay nope this should hopefully be the last time to do it. If not, I hope I'm just not doing something wrong by accident. But I'm kind of following it. It says, enter the prologue scene, obtain the flashlight in your house, turn the radio on in the first floor bathroom, go outside and collect the Charlie Matheson poster, quit to the main menu. So, I mean... I feel like this should work. This will be our fourth time doing it, so. We shall see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm still, the head bobble is still kind of ridiculous, though. And if there's a way to turn that off. I never really looked. Oh, VR. Oh, there's motion blur. Yeah, I'm going to turn that off. I didn't even notice. That's a lot easier. If VR would suck in this game, I would get so sick playing that. So I get motion sickness. Uh, and VR usually isn't too bad. Certain games are bad. But games that have automatic head wobble and stuff like this, oh, I'd be done in probably an hour, if not less. We played Pavlov a couple of years ago at this point, and I was fine through pretty much all of it. Like... And then we played one map and everything was so poorly rendered and like glitchy that we played it for like 15, 20 minutes. And I was like, I gotta be done. Like, I gotta be done. <laughs> I gotta just like not be in this for a little while. It was, uh, it was really bad. <laughs> yeah, so I guess the key is always upstairs, huh? And then we do our usual rounds again. Oh, I thought that might have been the key. <laughs> uh, bathroom. You never know, you never know. It's gonna want us to go into the last spot every time. Nope. Help, I'm lost. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, and down we go. Are you guys having as much fun as I'm having? <laughs> Running this same thing over and over again? Uh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. It's my fave. Same, man. Same. Dude, I gotta get a new mouse so bad. It's like, so see what's going on right now. My, my finger is holding down the button, just not like super mashing it down, but it like, it sometimes just like completely freaks out and keeps on like getting, uh, like disconnected. It's really annoying. Okay. This should be the last one. Okay. Nope. <laughs> okay then let me uh let me go back to this and uh look at, like a secret level this might be a little different okay so arrive at the house she do it uh playing the piano Turning on the radio. Okay, hang on. So maybe we were running to the wrong one. Okay, this has got a totally different one. Okay, as soon as you start the level, run straight down the path until you reach the front of the house. Nothing in the forest is of importance. Once you reach the house, where the steps begin. So go to the swing set. Oh, okay. So apparently you got to sit there and... Okay. That... That, uh... Okay, so the way we were doing it may have been for like an earlier version. Let me go down to see what the comments say. All you have to do is look at the poster on the tree three times and you're done. Apparently, you don't need to do anything except pick up the poster three times. Okay, hold up now. They're, they're showing a different poster. I think there's a poster in the backyard. So let me let me just interact with this poster a couple of times then cuz they're they're just saying all you have to do is interact with the poster a couple of times. So we may have been running all the way out there for no reason. <clears throat> we'll still go get the flashlight and turn on the radio. Just in case, but Hmm. 
Yeah, because now I'm now I'm curious as to whether or not we've been running all the way out to the wrong poster. Uh, get you Logitech G502. It's like 50 bucks, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I need to just do some research on some different mice, see which ones work. Uh, reviews and that sort of stuff. I know Logitech is a pretty big one, though. I mean, the mouse I have now and that I've been using for years is like a $15 mouse. So it's really nothing, really nothing crazy. You know what, whatever, I'll just go ahead and do, do all of this. Cause it, it, you might have to do some of this stuff, I don't know. So there's that, play the piano. Piano's in the other room, I think, yes. Sounds familiar, okay. Yeah, so the way he was talking about it, okay, flashlight is in there. So, play piano, turn the radio, grab the flashlight, okay. I don't think we heard this. So now we should be able to go outside. And apparently there's like a, uh, there's a poster out here that I never saw. I probably saw it when I first played it, but that was, that was a couple days ago. <laughs> hey man! Is there no poster out here? It looks like there's a poster near a wooden fence. Oh, there's one out here. Oh, ah, there we go. Well, there we go. That's all we had to do. And now we enter the secret stage. So as you can see, we have, we have nothing in the chapters. So let's go see what this game has to offer now. I'm lost, can you find me? Maybe. Probably. <laughs> Ah, yes. So, in case you're wondering, <laughs> this level is called the Glitched Stage. Whoa. Okay, well, that's locked. Oh, do I have to go into the back door, maybe? Or can I go through the front door? I can go through the front door. Okay, well, if it teleports me around everywhere, it's not going to work. <laughs> it's locked. Okay, it didn't like that. <laughs> it didn't like that. Dude, this is trippy looking. All right, what do you want me to do, game? <laughs> I almost feel like it would be... 
Yeah, like one of the kids' rooms upstairs. Well, if you'd stop teleporting me around, maybe we could do some little searching in here. Oh, hey, bro. I like you. I want to play a game. I thought we were already playing a game. I thought I was already trying to find you. <laughs> ah, sick. <laughs> Nice. I will find you instead. Um. No. No, let's not and say we did. How about that? Oh, gosh. Hello? Hello? It sounds like a pig squealing. <laughs> oh, look at that. Was that there before? Maybe. Alrighty, alrighty. Hello. Okay. <laughs> He's got me on edge, man. I don't actually know if this is dangerous or not. <laughs> Hello, child. Charlie. You did find me. You did find me. Good job. Oh, I'm on fire. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yep. Hey, man. Okay. Am I? <laughs> yeah. I think uh, between the, the burning fire around me, Oh, I can start game or end this. <laughs> I can start it or end it. I'm going to get back in there. Okay. Do it one more time. <laughs> it I can't even like do anything. It's just it's just this. Alrighty. Well I guess I'll end it. Press any key to start the game. I missed a lot of things. <laughs> I missed a lot of things. Fail to pause attempts? I don't know what that means. Alrighty, cool. Well, I think that's it. Um, you press and start game. All you'll see is the image above. Uh, yes, it's finally over. Now you must exit the game and relaunch to get the original game selection screen back. I hope you had as much fun as I did. Okay, well, it looks like they may have patched it into being like this. I'll click on this and see if it goes back to normal. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Alrighty, cool. Very, very, very interesting. It was a fun little game, not gonna lie. It was a fun little game. I enjoyed it. it took a couple of hours, and I don't know if that's just because... Uh, it was me struggling with the uh, <laughs> that first section of the game, but I got it. I got it. It was a cool little game. Cool little game.